think I can finally see now what my role here is. Onwards to Alchemoth. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. There it is. Melia, we're in sight of Alchemoth. All right, I'm on my way.
Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis' shoulder. So... Ah. So that is where the Junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the Personal Protection Division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please... Dispense with the Majesty. Perish the thought, Your Majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. <laughs> I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the majesty address is burdensome to me. <sighs> if you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, we really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maximus. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> Widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. 
Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future. house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Melia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us. Come on, big sis. That's enough. Don't defend her. This idiot child. I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor oh, Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. 
Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia? Thank you. Likewise. Talon. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? You know, you use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive. <laughs> 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 By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the fog king. That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. But Kino's so bored. The whole thing got me wondering: why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Teletia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethias, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high-purity ether crystals, except... Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them.
You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Hmm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Well, it's a good question. But look, you have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. I'm sorry. You're right. I want my actions to have meaning too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose. To all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Hmm? They just want you to be happy, right? My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the High End here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words Father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear Father. Lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin. But a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land. Nay, not only the High Entia. For the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. Yeah, if anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want too. Shulk. Indeed, it'll be my pleasure. It's ready. <laughs> what? It's not changed much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. Days of Fog King numbered!
looking awfully foggy today. I would guess it correlates with the widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Lend me your strength. The future belongs to us. King of Folk will no name of Hero Bob Hero! Monster in for proper bashing! Changing one's way of life means negating your past self. I tried to change myself, and the path I walked until then, I disavowed. The precious path I had walked, as you may as loyal retainer. Let me be me then, the Empress's, your shadow, and I'll do what's in my power. So then, you will not change your ways but still walk alongside me. Is that correct? Yamea, mother, kept me by her side for that purpose. She already showed me the road that I should take. I think I'd like to repay her by putting her will into action. For her and for the future of the High Entia. I see. So that's the answer you have chosen. I'm glad that is your decision, Tyrea. Hmm. You may be a fitting vessel to inherit the throne, but as a politician, you'll be much too soft for your own good. If you got blinded by pretty ideals and came to ruin, I could never face my mother. No, I'd never be so... Let's face it. You'll need someone to rein you in when you get too blinkered. Frankly, I find the suggestion somewhat offensive. All right. But in that case, I must make a pronouncement too. I, Melia Antiqua, Empress of the High Entia, by mine name do solemnly decree. Be thou guardian, for our subjects and the race entire, act the mistress of unseen shadows, and pledge thy very life to this throne. Swear your might to my bidding, Tyrea. I accept. I will honor this commission, Your Majesty. <laughs> They're waiting for you, Melia. 
does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well. I'm occupied with my research, as you know, Empress Melia. Don't mock me. Here we go. Yes. Lady Melia! She's back! And it looks like she brought the companions with her! Let's clear a path! The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... The transporters, they don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Is that... I use this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nanny got friends and friends of friends. That line of hero Ponkino. You brave you who venture forth. We salute you. No matter how many times it returns, we can bring it down just the same. Our future must be kept safe. What? What? Telethia? Why? What? What on Bionis?
Melia, for whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time. Hmm. Grant me your strength, friends. is safe. Finally. It is. Melia, for whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift.
Chief, are you all right? Alan, what are you doing here? Cosmos helped everyone escape. They're all on the training ship. Now we need to get you out of here. Cosmos? Hilbert effect!